So as golfers, we're acutely aware of the many challenges that this game offers. We can't control the weather. We can't potentially control who we're going to play with in a competition. See you later. One thing we can control though, is how we set up to a golf ball, pre-shot routine. You might pick up some ideas here that's going to help you benefit your game. This is part one. This is my traffic light sequence, which I'm going to discuss now. It's the way I set into the golf ball, using those colors to guide me into the golf ball and to help my pre-shot routine. You'll notice here I've laid out the red, amber, and green cones. So before I draw the club from the golf bag, I'm just going to assess what's in front of me, what's awaiting me for my opening shot off the tee. So I'm looking to see where the landing zones are, what the wind might be doing, where the trees are moving, all right, just to give me any indication of wind direction. Once I've gone through that process now, I've selected my golf club, I might have actually lasered in my distance or used my yardage chart to give me some more information. I'm then actually going to walk into the amber zone. Now the amber zone is the preparation zone. This is where I'm going to execute a practice swing. Now what I like to do with my practice swing is effectively give a full-blooded golf swing, almost trying to uh, disguise the fact that if there was somebody down there 200 yards away, they would actually be thinking I'm hitting my proper shot because I've actually gone through that motion of 100%. Now from the preparation zone, I'm then going to go into the execution zone. That's where the green cone is on the floor. And this is where I'm actually just going to literally go to the golf ball. I've done all my prep work. I've cleared my head. I'm going to execute the swing. Let's go through those motions. There we go, happy with that one. Now there's one other cone I've laid out on the tee here, and that's a white cone in the distance. That's my reflection zone. That's the area you walk through, reflecting on your shot, whether it be a good shot or a bad shot, draw the positives from it. Once you've gone past that little area, you forget it. We're gonna walk on, we're gonna get ready to prepare for our next shot. That shot is finished. Hopefully, you're gonna get some good points from this pre-shot routine part one. Hopefully it's going to improve your game.